What's going on everybody? This is Daxon here with Weaver Family Farms. So I want to make a video today and all you're going to need is just a little knife, a box knife or anything like that. Um, you can see here, he's, these are some of my last green giants here. Um, there's one green, a lot of brown, and one green. Before we got a lot of rain a couple weeks ago, I hurried up and came and put them in the ground because um, they were in little pots, outgrowing the pots. and. I don't really have a spot to put them. We're gonna hopefully line them along our property line down there eventually. But uh, I mean, like I said, they're all growing pots and everything, but so I just had to get them in the ground. What I wanna do is show you, and it's pretty simple. Normally, um, if you have a sign a tree might be dying, you could come up top, say, and it's a lot easier on a bigger tree, but you could break, the, break one of the branches. Now, this is obviously dead. You can see it's white, crunchy, brown, just fell off like nothing. Um, also, I'm gonna try to hold my phone here steady, but if you wanna tell if the whole tree's dead in this case, you can go down here and I'll make just a little scratch. Basically, you're just scratching off the bark and looking at the layer inside of it. Now that's, let's see, right there. I'm trying to get my camera to focus without the grass getting in the way. Now you can see that's white, but pretty close to brown. Um, so this, I would say, isn't um, like completely dead, but I mean, it's good as gone. Um, now I'm gonna go over to one that I know is alive over here, though it is part of our rose. It's gonna be a big screen. You watch my other videos on this. And I'm going to scratch a little bit on one of them. Now I don't even have to scratch because these things are so young, uh, but you can see the branch up top is green. I mean, this is this year's growth. But let's say it wasn't and you couldn't tell. I could head on down here. And you don't want to go very deep. We're not trying to harm the tree or anything. Um, you see that little mark I scratched off right there? Get my camera to focus once again. Maybe. Right there. Little spot right there. It is it dark, is dark green. green, so that means that tree is in good health. Now, um, we have some fruit trees we put in this year. And for some reason, uh, they're all pretty well doing good besides one apple, one peach, but all three pears all lost their leaves within about a month of planting. Now, we can look up top here. You can see they're white and brown where I, where I pruned, pruned them. And the reason I did that and I may not have done a perfect job of pruning, but this thing had like two more feet of growth on top. Uh, that wouldn't have really been a stable branch or anything. Um, and gave me the right shape for a future uh, large pear tree because these get about 30 foot or so. Yeah, 20 to 30 foot tall. And it's only about set, six and a half, seven foot right now. Um, one good sign is, is this branch right here is still nice and green. So the higher we have life in the tree, the better off we are. The, say if the top 50% is brown, the bottom 50% is green, we still have a chance, you know, the tree isn't completely dead, but, you know, something's gotta be done, make sure it's getting enough water, make sure it's not getting, not getting over watered. Um, try not to over fertilize. They say most of the time trees really don't even need fertilization unless it's you know, years down the road and you're notice a tree starting to do poor and you think that might be, uh, but you can test some soil. But once again, these are green, but I wanna make sure my eyes aren't playing tricks with me. And I'm going to make a little mark. I can tell with the knife that it's pretty soft. Once again, I'm using one hand. You can make these marks a little bit bigger. Get my camera to focus, see the little green spot I put there. Actually, I'm going to pause and All right, so I unpaused here. it. This is a very good sign. Even though this thing lost all the leaves and I worry about, because I believe that it's from the sun and the photosynthesis process that how the trees actually get um, their sugar, I do believe. Don't quote me on that. I'm just going off of, you know, kind of what I've learned from reading and watching other people's videos and just trying to sum up a whole bunch of different things in a video as well as what I've learned um, so far. But this tree is in pretty good shape besides losing the tree the leaves now we're green pretty well to the very top we're green right there 
and we would most definitely expect it to be green down here. Now, if we're brown down here and green up top, the, the tree, um, from what I understand, most likely doesn't have a chance because if you don't have a bottom of the tree, the top can't grow. If your top's dying and your bottom's doing good, you know you can do some pruning to help the tree conserve some energy. And uh, instead of trying to push energy up to the dead stuff, you know, conserve the energy to the, the really good healthy part and you're off. You're doing good. So I'm going to check this one because this one, I don't believe I've seen really any green on it at all. So once again, I'm going to pause the video and do some scratch tests on this tree and see where okay, we're so at. Okay, so I scratched right up here. Tree's wanting to blow a little bit in the wind. But we got green up here, so this tree is good besides a few of these dead branches. And you see, I'm gonna try to break this. All right, it's not as dead deep down. It's dead out here on the end, you see it's a dark color. But right here, when I try to bend it, I feel there's some resistance. If it's really dead, it'll just go crack and snap off. We also have green there. This pear tree over here is the least worst really out of all of them by visibly, visibly looking at it because we actually still have a few lingering leaves. So I'm not even gonna mess with this. Um, the tree that I probably have the biggest concern with and I'm kind of doing a test to see how much that whole cutting off all the dead to conserve energy, if that's actually you know a true statement or not, I assume it is, it makes sense. But this is actually a peach tree Started off the first, oh, six weeks or so of the year. Excellent, boom. You know, right within three, four days time, it just like lost all its leaves and all its branches died. So I'm not too, too sure what happened with it. I'm keeping it watered. You know, I got a hose ran um, like 450 foot out here all the way from the house just so we can uh, water these guys. Now you can see where I pruned it. Brown, 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 but that doesn't really mean anything. Overall, just looking at it, it does look like it's a goner. Um, but I'm hoping this will encourage some new growth. Hopefully this year. Might have to wait till next year. Uh, once again, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to do a scratch test on a couple different spots on this tree and see if we can see any green or if we're just dead. I mean, right there, that's not a good sign either. Uh, we're like a branch. It looked like it broke off. And it's this brown, nasty looking. So I don't know, bugs maybe got a hold of it. Um through some wounds like that uh you know not really sure all different types of things but i'll be right back all right so i did the scratch test and unfortunately you can see we are pretty well brown um this tree is dead i mean it might still have some live roots um could it come back i guess anything's technically possible you know it might be uh three four five years before it actually recovers from this if it's a simple transplant shot and this shock and it didn't take it well or what I could guess I could try to do one more scratch down really low, but still, I mean, even at this point, um, you know, it's not like it's a $200 tree. They're $26. Lowe's will take them back within a year, and I can and get a replacement. scratch test down here. It is brown. So this tree is done for, sadly. But uh, hopefully you learned something from this video. I'll show you my other peach tree real quick. It's, it's doing uh, pretty well. It actually has peaches, and this is, uh, I believe these are like two two-year trees maybe that I bought last fall, so this is probably the third year of this peach tree. It's got some pretty decent looking peaches on it, so I was actually pretty impressed with that. So, anyway, that is it for this video. Thumbs up if it helped. Comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Try to help as much as I can. There's a little cherry tree, sweet cherry tree. I'll test this one last tree, actually. This is an apple tree, but I think it's alive. Actually, I won't even test it because there's some really light color, some green in there so i'd say it's good besides some of these outer branches might be a little dead but anyway thanks for watching see you later bye bye